What's going on, Funko fans? Thanks for tuning in and welcome back to another episode of Much Pops. In today's episode, we are just going to be doing a quick run through of my top five most expensive Funko items according to the Funko app. So let's go ahead and get on into this video and see what we've got to show today. Alright you guys, so this is a video that I've been actually thinking about making for quite a while now and I just never really got around to making it and I was actually going to make it earlier this week and as you guys know prices fluctuate so much so now I actually have different pops or just different items in general that are in this top five now so it's kind of cool kind of interesting how that happens but let's just go ahead and get right into the number five most expensive Funko item in my collection and that is going to be my flash chase soda so let's go ahead and pop this open again so we can show you what this one looks like and if I remember correctly before when I was showing this one off I was just calling him inverted flash but I think his name might actually be anti flash and I know if my buddy Matt's watching this he's gonna grill me in the comments yet again I'm pretty sure it's anti flash though so anyways let's go ahead and get him out and the reason why I was just referring to him as like inverted flash is because you can clearly see right here that he is yellow where he should be red and red where he should be yellow but this is actually one of the cooler chase sodas that I've got so I was actually pretty stoked when we pulled this one from the can and let me go ahead and get this pog out here to show you guys real quick so let's see right here we've got all yellow right there him with the yellow hat and the red ears and then you flip it right there on the back and this one was one out of 2500 I know it's kind of glary there but there we go one out of 2500 and this one clocked in at $48 so very cool that we've got this chase here I think before when I was going to make this video my bottom number five was like 45 and I actually had two that were at $45 so there was going to be a bonus but in this video now as the prices are we only have five items to show off so again this was number five the chase flash soda which may or may not be called anti-flash let's go ahead and move on to number four Okay, so coming in at number four, we actually have a pop that was just released over the past couple weeks, and this is going to be a pop from the Wondrous Con, and I'm actually surprised that it has a value so quickly on the Funko app because as I'm sure you guys already know, sometimes it can take months. I mean, I've still got pops from 2019 that have no value on the Funko app and I have no idea what they are. But when I just opened up my app to check the prices for this video, I realized that uh, my collection value grew like, I think five or $600 and I was like, okay, that's kind of crazy what the heck happened here. And as I was scrolling through my collection, I noticed that there is a bunch of new pops and so does that have value so it's pretty exciting that they are actually finally starting to update the values in the Funko app so go ahead check your collection see if your uh, collection grew see if it kind of lessened a little bit see if you've got new stuff that didn't have values it does kind of interesting to look at but anyways though guys this is number four and it is a wondrous con exclusive we actually have the con sticker so i'm pretty sure that that's why this one has such a higher value than what it would normally have with just the shared sticker but without further ado and actually one more thing it is a diamond collection uh, edition pop so i am pretty stoked on that one too because you guys already know i love them but anyways though guys here we have it and it is Jolteon from the Pokemon. So this is an actually really cool pop and I think that uh, Sam was saying that maybe she didn't care for the glitter too much on this one but as you're going to see right here uh, with the little spinner it's actually pretty glittery. I mean like this one has all the things that I like to see in a glitter pop which is where they are basically covered from head to toe in glitter and I do think that uh, the, the colors on this glitter look really great too because you can see that there is like different speckles of not only white but also like sort of greenish too so I think it does give a really nice kind of contrast and I really do enjoy this one so again we have him right here this is Jolteon and you can see that we do have the con exclusive sticker I'm not sure if you saw the video where we actually open these up from the Funko shop where we ordered them but I did not even realize that that was the con sticker because I think that these actually may be my very first con stickers that I've ever got um, you know not being the shared sticker so I was kind of unsure especially because I hadn't really taken a look at the con sticker but thankfully we were able to get the official con sticker which is really cool and this pop is coming in at $55 
So, let's go ahead and move on to number three and see what we got for that one. All right, you guys, so I've got number three in hand right now. And this is actually going to be a Chase Pop that we just revealed on the channel a couple videos ago. And it was one that we were sort of hunting for in store. It actually came out in store the same time that the Red Dress Diamond Edition uh, Selena Hot Topic exclusive was coming into stores. And uh, if that doesn't give you kind of an idea of what it is, I'm just gonna go ahead and show it off to you guys right now. And this is a really awesome Chase. I only ordered one and was lucky enough to get it, but it is going to be the Panda Pool Deadpool Flocked Chase. And this one is also a Hot Topic exclusive, and I was so excited when I opened this up because I, there was just something telling me like, hey, don't worry about it, man, because when I was out in the stores trying to look for them, not super heavily, but just trying to look for them in general, I could never find one that was in the store, you know? I would always uh, talk to employees and they were like, hey, you know, somebody picked it up today, we only had one. So I never got lucky, but something was always telling me, hey man, you have that box in your room, you haven't opened it in weeks, there's probably gonna be a chase in there. And you know what? I came home and I opened it up and there was a chase in there. I couldn't believe it. But I did see that a lot of people were actually getting really lucky ordering this from HotTopic.com uh, and then also finding the chase. I mentioned it when I pulled it, but there was another Instagram account that I followed. I forget who it was, but he ordered four and got three chases in one single order. So, I mean, they were shipping these things out like crazy. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you were able to secure one of these chases from the Hot Topic website. But this one, guys, is coming in at $60. So, just a $5 jump from the number four spot, but still enough to secure spot number three. Now let's go ahead and see what number two is going to be. All right guys, for number two, we have a soda chase. And this is actually going to be coming from the most recent video, I'll link it down below, uh, that we put here on the channel, and that was going to be the round three soda battle. And speaking of that, actually, we asked you guys to vote in the comments who won the battle? Was it me or was it Sam? Because we both found one chase. And overwhelmingly, it seems like you guys voted for me. So I took the W on that soda battle. I had, let me let me look, who was he? Um, oh, I got him right here, so I'll just show you. So I had the Martian Manhunter Glow in the Dark Chase. And you guys said that that one was cooler than the chase I'm about to show you off right now. I do not know what the value is on that Martian Manhunter because it has not been updated yet in the Funko app, but I do have the value for this one right here. And if you watch that video, you already know what it is, but here we've got him and it is the El Cabong, which is the, uh, I guess, alter ego or something like that of Quick Draw McGraw. So let's go ahead and pop him out one more time so we can take a look at him right here on the video. And of course, he's in the bubble wrap. He's gotta stay protected. Gotta make sure he's not banging around in there, getting all scuffed up. But this is actually a great looking figure. And if it didn't come down to who would be the winner of the soda battle, I might have to say that this one was pretty cool, but because I don't want her to get any extra credit, it's not that cool, guys. Just not that cool. But anyways, we have got him right here, and you can see that he's sort of like Zorro-esque. He's got this little hat with the uh, eye, you know, cut out whole things, and then he's got this little guitar, and also, he has a cape on, so that's kind of cool too. And he's wearing, maybe, no, that, that's not shoes, that's just cow feet. <laughs> so, anyways, this is the number two most expensive Funko item in my collection, and he is coming in at $8. So, I am not sure if he is actually more expensive or not than the Martian Manhunter, but I do know that so far, he is the second most expensive Funko item in my collection, and it's a pretty cool one to be at spot number two, if you ask me. All right, guys, so I have in hand right now the number one most expensive Funko Pop in my collection. And it's actually kind of a funny story that I would have this one at all because generally it is not something that I ever would have purchased for myself because honestly, I just, I don't know. I just wouldn't have bought it. I mean, it's not that I'm not a fan or anything like that. I just wouldn't have bought it. But 
The reason why I did have to buy it is because it is a diamond collection and you guys already know I'm trying to pick up every single diamond collection pop there is. So I had to get this one. I did not know anything about this pop. I did not know anything about its value. I had no idea the popularity and demand that this person has in the Funko community. but. When I bought the pop and then uh, looked up the value because I believe it must have been a restock because it already had value on the Funko app on the day that I purchased it, it clocked in at $125 and I picked it up for $15 on the Funko shop when it dropped. I did buy two of them so I was super stoked about that but its value did drop a little bit after the restock as they do so it's not the same 125 that it was valued at when I purchased it slightly lower slightly lower but I'm not even worried about it because I didn't buy it for value I bought it for my diamond collection so this is one that I'm gonna be keeping I don't care if it goes to a thousand dollars I'm keeping it for my collection but guys without further ado here we have her and this is going to be the white dress Funko Shop exclusive diamond collection Selena Funko Pop. Now this one is so incredible with the detail guys. I truly do love this one. And like I said, I've never been a big fan of Selena music or anything like that. I don't really know many of her songs or anything. So like I said, it's not something that I would have really purchased, but it does look like an incredible Funko Pop. Now this one, although it is Diamond Collection, is not done from head to toe like I would normally like to see, but despite that fact, it's still an extremely well done pop and I think if they would have done complete diamond on this it actually might have taken away a little bit from how good it actually looks so I'm, I'm pretty glad that they did not do that but anyways this is Selena in her white dress she's got her red fingernails her red lipstick and her big white diamond earrings now I'm not exactly sure what concert or event this one came from but it does translate super fantastic into a Funko Pop figure and it comes in at a grand total of $95. So this right here at $95 is going to be the most expensive Funko Pop in my collection. And like I said, it is kind of funny that this is going to be the most expensive because if it were not a diamond collection pop, I probably would not have bought it at all and therefore it wouldn't be in my collection anyways. So very funny how it turns out that this one is the most expensive, but who knows what's going to end up topping it in the future. But for now, a very good one to have at spot number one, I would say. So now that we have shown off all of my top five most expensive figures in my collection, let's go ahead and just do a quick little recap and end this thing off right. Coming in at spot number five, we have the Chase Soda of the Flash, which may or may not be called Anti-Flash, coming in at $48. And taking the number four spot, we have the Wondrous Con with Con Sticker Diamond Collection Jolteon from Pokemon coming in at $55. In the number three spots, we have the Hot Topic exclusive limited edition flocked chase of Panda Pool coming in at $60. And as the runner up taking the number two spot, we have the Chase version of the Quick Draw McGraw Funko Soda, whose name is El Kabong, coming in at a cool $80 bills. And finally, last but not least, coming in at the number one spot for the most expensive figure in my Funko Pop collection, we have the Funko Shop exclusive Diamond Collection White Dress Selena herself popping in at a grand total of $95. So there you have it guys. Those are my top five most expensive Funko items in my collection right now to date as of this moment in time right here. And drop me a comment down below and let me know what's the most expensive Funko item in your collection and if I'm beating you or you're beating me. And once you've done that, don't forget to give that like button a sexy little spank. 
Don't forget to comment, share, and subscribe. I do try to put out at least two videos per week on Tuesdays and Fridays, and I do try to make them as fun and entertaining for you guys as possible. So, if you enjoyed this quick little video of me going over the top five most expensive items in my Funko collection, I really hope to see you guys again soon on the next one.